Okay, it's our May vlog. Baby is on her way. And I'm starting this a little later into the month because we've literally, we've been sick for over three weeks. So we're on day 22. Um, I'm still a little congested, uh, but probably the scariest sick like virus that we've ever had. We got tested for COVID literally like five times each and it wasn't that, um, but it took us out. <laughs> it was like so crazy. Um, but fever, chills, craziness. I wrote about it on livebeautifully.com and thank you for all of your advice because we're on the mend now. Um, but I still have like a little bit of a cough, but I'm ready. And now I have to just get this into there. <laughs> And I'm preparing for baby girl. And I have some like laundry happening. Don't mind the messy, messy bed. Pillows. I mean, this was like all tissues. I mean, this was just like so gross for the last few weeks. But I just feel like a different human feeling somewhat normal again. Um, but yeah, so we are getting going. I'll show you what Brian's doing. I can't even make this up. Let me know if <laughs> when you're like nesting which it's impossible to be nesting with toddler um but it's hilarious what like men will do to prepare for the baby he's been like organizing the garage for hours and I'm like that like, she's not gonna look at the garage she's not gonna judge us I promise and then he opened the pantry he's like we really need to organize this <laughs> um but anyway okay I'm gonna do this I'll show you uh, some of the stuff I'm packing and We'll get this going. Oh, Bella threw that in there. <laughs> and Brian is nesting, aka changing a light bulb. He hasn't changed since October. <laughs> it's for Halloween. This so is no, this is yeah. how men. Oh wait, Halloween is October. <laughs> this is how men Bye, prepare Brian. prepare for a baby. <laughs> the lights have got to not be orange. We're bringing a new child into the world. <laughs> but like, why today? <laughs> Because it probably would have just rolled into next Halloween if I didn't do it. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. A little better? Oh, yes. Mentally a little foggy, but my cough is gone. Thank goodness. That's good, honey. How are you feeling? Um, I could cough right now, but I'm holding it back. <laughs> Push. <laughs> don't, yeah, we, go. don't do that. My mom came into town to save me. <laughs> I called her at 3 a.m. saying I don't know how to be able to, how I'm going to do this. And she booked her first flight out of Boston. And here she is. Well, I'm wearing blue too. You're wearing blue too? I know, we met. 
We this met. is my blue pink. Ready. You know what I can see? I can see her putting makeup on Winston. Like Winston would actually make it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm doing some stretches <laughs> to try to get the baby ready and Bella's also doing stretches. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> uh... Ooh, I love it. when you have a toddler so there is no nesting there's bread. there is definitely no nesting <laughs> there is Hi. no nesting uh there's just chaos and hoping that you have all the right things packed to go to the hospital testing. so there's testing <laughs> and we're still sick but feeling much better which is crazy what do you think <laughs> that time of the pregnancy <clears throat> towards the end where they do a cervix check and this is where Brian plays this video for me oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the doctor yesterday and she was feet down and she flipped again and she's head down this girl rolls like <laughs> somersault We're sitting here trying to put together the pumps. This is ridiculous. And we actually forget. Literally 9,000 parts. Like, it looks like an air horn. I know, but it's so crazy that we don't even remember, and it's only been, what, four years? Three like, and a half years. What is this thing? That's the handheld part, I think. But it doesn't move. Like, what are you. I have no idea. I forget. I'm sitting on a ball. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> SOS. Here we go. Okay, a couple things to help and prepare for labor. Brian is making me raspberry leaf tea, and then we're gonna make it iced because I feel like that would be yummy. And then I've been eating a lot of these dates, and then I just got new ones. And I have an exercise ball. We're walking. There's mom. <laughs> I'm out of breath because Bella <laughs> put me in a dress. <laughs> okay. What blanket are you under? Kelsey. <laughs> Where's Bella? I don't know. We're trying to get her to go to bed and she is so hyper. Do I have a crown on my head? Yes. This is how she was last night when you were trying to put her to bed at like 2 in the morning. She was just like <laughs> staring at you. Her eyes were lit up like little diamonds on the night vision. <laughs> down to this place called First Look. And just to confirm before we go head in down, tonight, baby. We're ready. that our head is down and it is down. So it's so go time. So better hurry up before she changes her mind. <laughs> yeah. She's already uh, giving you a little run for. Mm -hmm. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Got all three surrounded by girls now. All right, it's go time. We are going to the hospital tonight. Yes, we are. For midnight, which tell them the mix up about midnight. <laughs> oh, yeah, they call to confirm 
the date and time they're like come in on monday at midnight and we're like oh cool and then we hang up and i'm like what the hell does monday at midnight mean it actually means sunday, sunday. at like 1201 whatever <laughs> that's monday at midnight they we come in day late. monday at midnight and call it 11 before you get here and i was like okay monday but yeah we got this so um i'm still packing and for all of you that have to pack without an induction i just don't know how you do it because it's like such a whirlwind even <laughs> right now um but i feel like one suitcase two of us pajamas biggest thing brian's gonna bring a pillow um snacks our little tripod i did put together a blog post of like what to bring in the hospital so yeah, be nice and bring snacks from the nurses oh too. yeah snacks for the nurses and then thank you to pure salt for this adorable little bassinet um and then i ordered this little baby um off amazon i'll link everything and um this is a gift for bella because she's gonna wake up in the morning and we're gonna be gone <laughs> Um, I did tell her, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> he, he was our baby at one point. He was. Aww. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. He could totally tell something's happening. Um, but that was great advice from all of you that as much as we can, like, tell her what's going on, if she doesn't really understand, is, like, giving her a gift from her baby sister. So, um, and then we set up to snoo. Don't worry, that blanket is not staying. Um, I'm out of breath. And here's where the male model sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> we got our chair set up. Okay. <laughs> this is so wild. It is so weird getting induced because it's like. I actually feel like I'm a little more afraid this time than I was with Bella. Like, just like, not afraid, but just like have anxiety. Um, just of the unknown, but we're happy. We're pumped. Brian got a haircut. Brian did all the things for himself. I got a few cuts. I um, washed my hair. That's the other good thing about getting induced or having like a scheduled C-section is you can like kind of prepare, but... Okay, here we go. Oh, he totally knows. <laughs> Next vlog we'll make will be with a baby girl. Yay. <laughs> Love y'all. Thanks for coming along with us. <laughs>